Hi, I'm Richard, and over the last 10 years, I've helped tens of students like you to apply for London Business School Masters in Analytics and Management, the MAM. In fact, I've helped students have an 86% offer rate. That is seven times the average acceptance rate, which is just one in eight students. Today, for the first time, I'm going to be giving some insider information to help you boost your application chances. Now, my number one tip for this course is to learn Python. If you've already done some Python with your work experience or in your degree, fantastic, mention it throughout your application. If you haven't, you by no means need to be an expert, but just doing a beginner or introductory course to show that you're ahead of other candidates will really help to give you the competitive edge. There is in fact an introduction to Python course at London Business School, and if you mention you've already learned something on Python, or maybe a couple of query functions within Python, to evidence that you've looked at what is in the course, this is university research and can stand out, that's gonna really help the admission staff see that you are a well-researched candidate. So number one tip, learn some Python before applying. And remember, you don't have to apply today, you could apply in a later cycle, in weeks or months time, Wait until your application is as strong as it can be before applying. Now, number two, LBS has this hidden criteria. There are seven elements of their application process, which they will mark you out of five for before deciding whether or not to invite you to an alumni interview. Having knowledge of these is going to be so helpful to make sure that you maximize your chances of an interview. And one of those tips is a positive career impact. Now, this is a very quantitative course. There's a lot of data, visualization, and coding elements. But in the modern world, LBS wants to know you're going to be a leader to have a positive impact with the powerful tools that they are going to be giving you. So talking about a global challenge and how you're going to be using these tools to solve that global challenge will help you to show leadership, positive social impact, and maybe even some community or philanthropy elements, which hits their hitting criteria. Now, before I continue to the next step, I will remind you that I work with a network of hundreds of professional admissions tutors and ex-university admissions professionals who can help give you the competitive edge. If you'd like to talk with myself, one of our team, contact us using the information on screen now or in the information box below. Now, our insider tip is a realistic career plan and the alumni and interviewers we've spoken to from LBS say that this is the most important thing that the admission staff look at. That is a realistic, ambitious career plan. So it's not enough just to say you want to be a coder or to be a data scientist. They want to know which specific graduate role in McKinsey's Quantum Black AI subsidiary you're going to be working on. Which location, who's going to be your boss? In two years, which desk are you going to be promoted into? And in five years, which element of the business are you going to be running? Ambitious, realistic, and well-researched is huge. London Business School wants to know that you're going to be an alumni to have a fantastic, positive career in the world, and they want to know that you've already thought about how to get that and are on the way to achieving it. Of course, LBS really highly rate work experience, so if you have any spring weeks, internships, mention those throughout your application as well. Speaking of which, London Business School doesn't have a personal statement. You cannot copy and paste your personal statement from another university. Instead, you'll get between 10 and 13 individual application questions, each of which needs to be written to the same high standard as a personal statement. And lastly, of course, there is GMAT required for all London Business School programs. Now, we've helped about half our students to achieve a waiver for LBS programs, and those who haven't have received offers of a score which is 30 marks lower than the average GMAT score for this course, which is about 700 on average. Working with us and promoting your quantitative skills, your relevant experience, and maybe a first class in your degree can really help to avoid the GMAT and let you get on with applying to this course. So LBS's MBA is aimed for those with on average five years of work experience. You can apply if you have two years of exceptional work experience, potentially as an entrepreneur and senior management, but the MBA is really a post experience course. The MAM is for those with less than two years of experience, so it's ideal for those who've just completed a bachelor's. LBS's Masters in Analytics and Management is a fairly unique course. 
It is at heart a management degree, so that's helping businesses to solve problems. But with the rise of data, data visualization, data science, coding, and AI, this is a course to really help professionals to move into those areas who may not have a technical background. So it's a fantastic combination of business, consultancy, and data. LBS's MAM is a very competitive course. Only one in eight receive an offer. That's about 12%. But using tips such as those in the video or working with a professional consultant such as yourself can give you a massive boost of up to 86% chance of receiving an offer. That's what we've got time for today. But if you'd like to work with myself or one of my fantastic team of professional admissions experts, we would love to help to give you the competitive edge in applying to this course. We've also got an email subscribe box below in the description where you can see a perfect exemplar and the five pillars that you need to include in every application to give your application the best chances of success. Also, please don't be afraid to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this, it really helps us out. And if you've got a budding question, comment. We'll try and get back to all the comments we can because we want to help you get into the university of your dreams. Most importantly, best of luck.